is concerned about appearances, but welcome to the world. It's pretty cruel, and I'll play you for a fool if you don't understand it. But we do, we do, we do, we do, we do. That's why we do what we do, and don't do the things that we don't do. Absolutely refuse to fuck you, fuck you. It just plum pisses me all the way off that people try to sell me their bullshit as if I'm not up to snuff about how deadly it really is. Not sorry that I'm smarter than you wanted me to be. Not sorry that I'm better, 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 better than the doctors ever thought I could be. Yeah. Not sorry for the fact that I never took your shit advice. Not sorry that I thought way more than twice. Not sorry, not sorry, not ever motherfucking sorry to anything but the Lord. Oh, and also the people I screwed over back in the day. Back during the soul years, my BCAG, that's what I call myself, before Christ, Amy Gross. Comatose, 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 in a way, and in another way. Yelling and flailing, yelling and flailing, yelling and flailing, and always saying the same thing. I'm so sad and I'm fit to be had, so I got no choice and I'm gonna be bad, bad. that I'd always been real good. But then again, I wouldn't have had so much fun fucking up, being a degenerate, and making excuses for it. I gotta say, there is something to that. And I would be lying if I were to deny that. So, I'm just saying. All these tattoos have made me who I am. Because that's all I am, my tattoos. Okay? <sighs> you can change the outward appearance, but you're still gonna feel like shit. You can do all these things to your body, but you're still gonna feel like shit. You can change this, and you can change that, and you can lie to yourself about everything, everything, but you'll still be the same thing. Still be the same thing, maybe a different color, or a different version, or a different energy, 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 but it's still coming from the same place, so you're never people they they get into like the self-help stuff and like the god what is it what's that shit called with the meditation stuff like the new age yeah oh my goodness dude i like marianne williamson though i'll admit that shit i know that that bitch is probably controlled but of course she is she was on oprah dude anybody on oprah i mean that bitch obviously can't be trusted but The fact that she's the richest woman in the world and they want to make it seem like, oh yeah, women are so oppressed and they want to make it seem like black people are so oppressed, but she's the richest woman in the world, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that Oprah is the richest woman in the world. Um, kind of, I don't know. It's kind of obvious that there's something going on there. It's kind of obvious there's something about, you know, something about. It's not something good. Okay, um... Marianne Williamson, she, she, she says some stuff that I like, but she's, she's definitely like, you know, new agey. You're a little ball of light. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good impression. Dude, I love her voice, man. Her voice is so soothing. But, uh. Yeah, I mean, I, I like some of that, though. I'll admit that shit. 
Like, I, I do like it. I like the new agey stuff some of the time. It's very comforting. Like, I, I feel like it's just coming at it from a different language, you know? And that's the way that I look at, like, all different types of religion and even politics, too. Because I feel like it's just a different version. <clears throat> I'd like to believe that, like, everybody wants the world to be a better place. But here's the thing. If people are, are totally, like, demonic, I mean, that's obviously not what they want. Um, but, you know, if people are really taken in by, by, you know, the evil spirits of the world, you know, and the, the bad people that want to do bad things, if, if, if they're, like, working for them without realizing it, then, you know, they don't really want what's best for the world. They, they just want whatever they're told is what's best for the world. And they really don't care, you know? It, it's all about fitting in. But at the same time, you know, it's really important to get at it, get all sides of the story, not just the one that you want to get. This guy is no longer in my life but when he was. I was so in love with him. I would do anything for him. He used to steal my cigarettes. He'd smoke all my cigarettes. I'd drive my car and I'd fill up the tank. He was a piece of garbage that took advantage of so many situations. But motherfucker, I was so in love with him. So in love. It's ridiculous. And he asked me to shave, so I did. Cause that's what he wanted. that women should be because it'd be better for them but then he broke up with me in the shittiest way and then he pretended to kill himself and he decided to call me right before he was gonna die supposedly that's what he told me that night so maybe he's not the one that I should have listened to maybe he's not the one that It's like on another level of just shitty decisions. Right, right, right. 